So what do you give a grade uh, for Survivor Series? Wait, we're not done yet. It's not over yet. Oh. <laughs> so then we got the final match. So if you want to call so, it a match, a minute, Why? A minute twenty-five. Uh, on that, is it really? That's what they have on Wikipedia as the time. Oh a minute God. twenty-five. We didn't time any of these, but okay. can I go off on this right now? Go for it, all you. All right. So this guy, and we're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> legitimate, legitimate fighter. Okay, goes to the UFC, beats a guy in the summer. Okay, he beats the phenomenal, freaking power of the Undertaker at WrestleMania. Nobody's beaten the Undertaker for twenty-one Undertaker. matches, and and this guy, Brock Lesnar, comes in. Destroys The Undertaker, okay? He's the one in 21 and one. And then all of a sudden, this 50-year-old man shows up <laughs> for a fucking video game promo. Fucking goes against this the Beast Incarnate, okay? This guy that you've been pushing for the last three years as this unstoppable force who beats everybody in his wake. And you put him, you make him lose in two minutes. Like, what in the fuck are you doing? Two minutes would have been are nice. Are you kidding me? I think that's a third spear. <laughs> it would have been two minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How do you do this? How do you book that? Who books this shit? I was surprised. Lesnar must make so much fucking money. That's the only thing I can think of after this. Because he's like, <laughs> oh, a minute and a half? Sure. Fuck, I got an extra mil? Yeah. You're, you're paying me so much that he doesn't fucking care that he's, that he's going to lose in a squash match. I thought this was the return match from WrestleMania 20. Because Goldberg went over on that one. I thought for sure he was going to get his payback. He runs over Goldberg. And holy shit. I, I, wow. I, I, <laughs> I that's, that's all I could say. I, I could not believe that he, he goes over this quick. The only thing I can think of is maybe they get another, I, I don't even, I don't even know. More subscriptions to the WWE Network because they have another match between them. At WrestleMania, at Royal Rumble maybe. Something. Because... There's no way they they leave it at this. I, I will say one thing that I liked is the way that Brock Lesnar sold the Spears was like he was legitimately something was wrong with him, like uh, ribs or something like that. And then even I want to say it was Corey Graves said that if if the spear if the first spear didn't didn't break his rib, the second one did or something like that. And the way that he was selling it uh, was pretty cool. The way that he, once he got pushed and he was kind of like cocky and you know like oh well fuck you and then he's the way he's getting up turns around and boom that's how the spear happens i thought the timing was good on that as far as you know like trying to make it seem your somewhat legitimate. explanation of this goddamn match is longer than the match <laughs> yes yes it is uh, there were certain parts i absolutely part part there was like there was nothing to this like why are you over and analyzing this uh, because for what they did for the minute and a half i i liked it but i completely agree that you get <laughs> <laughs> I like that, that minute and a half Thank match. You, These are the parts Thank I liked. You, These are the parts the I didn't. The <laughs> details. The details. It could have been the worse. The first spear wasn't as good as the second spear, but it's, I'll forgive him for that. It's the details. I like details Jesus in wrestling. Christ. And the, Brock Lesnar's entrance was amazing. <laughs> no, Goldberg's entrance was amazing. Uh, let's talk Fuck about the one, crowd man. pop. Just keep going on this. <laughs> no, no more. <laughs> yeah, I I agree with you though, Mike. I was blown away. You have a legitimate badass, and yeah, and he's it's a squash match. Fucking don't, insane. I don't really even mind the results so much, but what how they started the match was infuriating to me. He picks him up, slams him into the corner, and then just stands in front of him, <laughs> looks like an idiot, and then gets pushed down to the ground. Like it's a high school fight. And <laughs> he gets pushed down to the ground. He looks at him. And then, yes, he gets cocky. And then from that point, it works. Because he gets cocky, gets nailed with a spear. The one thing I will say about Goldberg's spear was, compared to seeing Edge and Roman Reigns do a spear for so long, and how and how those look, Goldberg's spear does look more Ask legitimate. Shane McMahon. <laughs> how fucking Roman Reigns' spear is. <laughs> <laughs> No, he almost died off the fucking well, that took Goldberg him, spear. That took him jumping off the top bro. okay? <laughs> yeah, no, you're, you're right. It looks... It looked good. Jack knifed him, put him down, then his chubby little kid came in the ring. 
I don't. That was weird. <laughs> He's like a four year old. I, I I thought it was cool that he brought his. <laughs> I thought it was, why is he shirtless? Though? I thought it was cool he brought his kid in the ring, but shirtless. I was like, what the fuck? This is awkward. I came in at the wrong time because he was like helping him through the ring. It looked like he was gonna beat up a little kid because <laughs> <laughs> I had to go piss and I came back and I see him like pushing this little kid in the ring. I was like, oh my I'm god, he's done. gone full heel. <laughs> he's looking for a real challenge. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And I thought that was a good way to hide any issues that Les or that uh, Goldberg would have. Yeah, being off for twelve <laughs> years or whatever, thirteen years, and and he wasn't that good. Yeah, and the, he wasn't three years that he wrestled anyway. Yeah, he wasn't that good right. anyway, <laughs> and he didn't have any fucking stamina or any distance in any way. So that was a good way to to do that. I would love to see the statistics: who lasted longer, Hugh Morris or Brock Lesnar? <laughs> that would be great. Or Raven. I think Raven may have lasted longer. Well, I was gonna say William um, Regal. William probably. Regal. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> he definitely, he's like, I'm tougher than Goldberg, or uh, I'm tougher, yeah, than Brock Lesnar. William Regal's going to go to UFC you. now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that. Give him some European uppercuts over yeah. there. So who thinks that Lesnar shows with a taser next time they wrestle? <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. I saw this uh, thing on the, on, I don't know what the fuck it was, just pops up on my fucking feed on my internet, and it said, Scott Hall missing. <laughs> I, I didn't click on it. Did you think that was interesting? Did you think that was the drizzling shits? For our full episode, make sure to check us out on iTunes and in the Google Play Store at Comic Movie Marks. You can download the entire episode. Woo! Woo! Download! Download! (laughs) And be sure to follow us along on YouTube. Please like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let us know how you think we're doing.